not on the agenda, but I'd just like to take an opportunity to uh, share some very positive information with um, my fellow board members and, and the district administration and certainly with the community. We're all very proud of um, the work that is done here in the district and educating our students of this community. And yesterday I had the opportunity um, to go on a, a site visit of NFA's Career and Technical Education Program. And that came about because a group of people from a private school in um, Westchester County called St. Christopher's, they have three campuses down there, and they're going to be opening up um, at the old Kaplan School in New Windsor in January. And they asked if they could come and see um, what type of program we run at NFA in regards to our career in technical education. So upon giving them the tour, the superintendent of that district, Dr. Platke, wanted me to know uh, how very impressed he was with that program. He, Dr. Platke used to work for the state education department and he used to tour um, high schools in the state and he used to do reviews of career and technical education programs. And after visiting our program right here in Newburgh, he let me know that he had visited over 400 of those type of, of programs and never had he seen such a comprehensive career and technical education program. He said that he was so very, very impressed and that if NFA was not the model for career and tech ed for New York State, it very well should be. He uh, went on to say that the, class, the staff was highly motivated and, and very energetic and enthusiastic, and clearly that all students were thoroughly engaged in the work that they were doing. So I just wanted to share that with you, and if any of you um, have not had the experience and are not aware of this wonderful program, we are not a component of BOCES. We are one of um, a couple of high schools that offer their own comprehensive program for career and tech ed. I certainly encourage you as a community to get out there and see it. It is a fabulous, fabulous program, and it's nice to see such a highly regarded educator agrees with us. So uh, I, I encourage you to go and see that. And then also uh, earlier this month I had a, another um, opportunity. There was a um, highly regarded educator here, uh, Heidi Hayes Jacobs, and she was providing some professional development uh, to our teachers and administrators and other staff members regarding the implementation of the Common Core Standards, which is right around the corner. And as part of the professional development, she asked um, Horizons on Hudson to talk a little bit about the IB program that they're running in that school and um, the inquiry-based methods that are uh, part of, of the basis for the IB program. And so they did. And uh, she wanted to share with all of us uh, once again how impressed she was in this elementary level IB program running at Horizons on the Hudson, and she wanted us to know that um, in her years as an educator, typically people will put in for that accreditation, um, and it will take six or seven times before they awarded that accreditation as an IB program. At Horizons on the Hudson, you should know, um, due to all their hard work and, and due diligence, um, they achieved that accreditation after their first application. So they are a fully accredited elementary IB program. And so I give kudos to everyone in this district uh, for all of their hard work and want you to know um, what wonderful people we have here working with all of our children. And I hope that you continue to support us and I hope that you get out to see all we have to offer and the opportunities that are here for our children. So thank you very much. <coughs> 